Hey, oh, hey, hello. That's better. Hey guys, it's David Zalas from MindlessPaint.com and I'm always streaming late, like usual, uh, but I want to start streaming right now and get this going because it's been a while. And, uh, you know, I want to hang out and do some stuff. So let me get this going real fast so I can see everybody and who's on. And where is my telephono? I do not know. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Not now. Apple, I don't want to hear from you, Apple. Not now. Let's do the backwards, see if that works. Not now. Yes. All right, that's on. And one more thing. And today I'm actually doing the Hunchback of Notre Dame. And I appreciate you guys uh, joining me and doing all that hanging out, all that good stuff. If you're hanging out today, I appreciate it. I'm setting stuff up right now, just getting everything going. So, oh, that happened. So I appreciate it, guys. And today, if you're just joining me in my stream, I am painting the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Uh, let me set this up so it's right. And I appreciate it, guys. And I'm doing something different today. Um, so I'm doing a Disney series. So if anybody of you guys have been following me, I appreciate it. I am doing a different Disney scene for every uh, 12. I just kind of did one. If you guys are checking that out, I appreciate that. So I just started out with one. And hey guys, what's going on? Hey everybody, thanks for checking me out. So I just started off with one. And uh, the first one was Mufasa and everyone loved it. So I'm like, okay, let's keep it going. And uh, there's this local artist I met, and he did a Game of Thrones series. So I want to do my own thing. And Disney, my brother told me, Disney, just do that, man. So today I'm painting in oils. And I've never painted in oils in my entire life. So I want to show people that I am a versatile artist. And, uh, you know, art is in you. Anybody can do it. And it just doesn't mean you have to be an airbrush artist. You don't have to be labeled as some kind of uh, your medium. So this one is called Resurrection. I mean, ah, not Resurrection. That was my last one. This one's called Sanctuary. So Hunchback of Notre Dame. And these are actually trying to dry up a little fast already. Um, Hunchback of Notre Dame, one of the most underrated, in my opinion, movies in the Disney collection, but one of the, the coolest and I think one of the deepest ones. I like it because I, I'm a huge Disney fan because I'm an artist, of course, and a lot of people are, and that's something we can relate to. And the story is pretty deep in the fact that it tries a lot of things. It's controversial, and it has a religious tone to it, and not a lot of, uh, you know, they don't really kind of meddle in that in the, the new stuff. So hey guys, thanks for joining me. Thanks for checking out my stream. I appreciate it. And if you're just joining me, hey, uh, Mike, Jose, Steven, Rodney, all you guys, thanks for showing some love. And I appreciate all you guys showing that for the new uh, series of Disney art I'm doing. All based on, you know, Disney movies, but I'm really giving a emotional theme to it because that's what really captures you. It's like these the deepest scenes in the movies that I, I really like and I, I want to kind of like enjoy painting. And to me, this was one of the, uh, the deepest scenes, I think, where he uh, rescues Esmeralda and she's about to be like burned at the stake. And it's crazy, like a lot of that's actually happening now in society. People are going crazy over a lot of things. And, um, you know, he gets steps up, man. You know, he steps up and does his thing. He's a man. And I was watching this scene. I love your artistic talent. Hey, thanks. Appreciate it. And um, it looks like nothing now, but it's really going to come to life, and you'll see. And, uh, you know, the gargoyle is just saying, uh, you know, we're made of stone, but I thought you were made of tougher stuff than that, than us. And I uh, was like, we snapped, and he kind of broke out his chains. You know, rescue the Esmeralda. I guess she's not a classical even princess either, which is also different. This thing keeps on sliding. So I'm adding a um, 
What color is this? Uh, do, 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 do. I'm, not, I'm really uh, just new to this. So this is a medium red, light hue red, cadmium red. I'm painting a dress right now, and it's like cadmium red. Yeah, I definitely need an easel for this little thing. Keep some falling, man. All right. And this is like some medium right here that kind of thins it out and makes it like a glossy, smooth color. So right now it looks like a blob, right? And what I'm doing now is blocking it out and just establishing where all the tones and everything's gonna go. So it's really like my sketch as you're watching. And I was trying to get some of this done before I went live, but I couldn't do that. So I'm just you know, showing you guys how I'm doing it. Okay. I'm gonna that up a little bit and add some more whites to this. Colors blend so nicely. And the great thing about oil is I was reading that it's so vibrant. It's so vibrant. And even after it dries, it keeps its color. Let me block this out and me keep the shape. Don't like that brown in there, I don't want to muddy it up. Samantha Freeman, hey, bonjour, como ça va? Oh, all right, some French right there, like it. Yeah, definitely, that's uh, Hugo, Victor Hugo, French writer, French artist. Never read it, though, I heard, uh, the the original book or ever whatever is uh, a lot darker so i actually i want to read it now that's pretty cool i'm into that man dark side but um thank you for joining me thank you for checking me out and if you're just checking out my stream i can't speak french just had a few yeah no i'm the same way with spanish uh well I, I can speak pretty decently you know to like survive i say but uh I'm just playing around with some colors. That one's, I need that to be like a darker purple. Um, there, like that. That's good. Yeah, I think, let me see on camera how that looks. All right, so I want some orange, so I wanna add, let's mix in some colors, I wanna add some yellow. To get more of an orange hue to his face and to the skin tone and uh you know i'm an airbrush artist but i mix my own colors as an airbrush artist so that definitely helps when i'm doing something like this a lot so i can know how to make a flesh tone I'll mix you know i'll start out with uh white red yellow and then see which way i want to move it to See, it's right there. Oh, he's not peach no more, man. And I have this photo here, and then I also have an iPad right here that I'm uh, working off of. And I like working off the iPad. It's kind of weird, but at first. But I like it because the colors are more accurate, and more vivid. And this is the thing about oils I'm finding out. I have to, and I was trying to like paint how I usually do. I, I, I can't. Uh, I, have, I have to block out. Whoop, too far. I have to block out his face, and then kind of like chiseling it like a. Um, I guess you'd say a, a sculptor, a very sculptor-esque kind of way. 
And um, I think I'm working to... I think I have to use a smaller brush. I'm going to move over and get a smaller brush. I'm working too hard right here. I'm trying to do it all with this huge, fat brush. So let me throw this tone in here, and then I'll go over it. This is just like a foundation, and I want to add more yellow, more more pink, more pink red hue to her skin tone. I think yeah, I definitely want to do that. So let me add some of this medium and mix. I'm mixing it off camera, actually. You know what? I could probably mix it over here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Actually, that would be a good idea. I'm a lefty though, man. I'm a lefty, and it's weird as heck for me to go for my right hand. Crap, and that's so. Ah, weird for me, but I'll do it. Okay, that's dying. I need the iPad. So I'm gonna plug this in so it doesn't die. All right, back to business. Yeah, and then I wanna add some burnt umber which is a color I love to use when I'm airbrushing. I love, oh, actually burnt sienna. I love this color. Love it. And this is like a nice brown tone, but it's warm. It's warm, so it's good for, I actually mix it as a, like, you know, underneath undertone. Perfect, yeah, she's not yellow anymore. Sorry, the yellow is gone. And as I'm doing this, I guess the process of even to describe it is I'm literally mixing the colors on the canvas because I'm kind of impatient. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's part of it. Bam, bam, bam. So and I'm really playing with the colors too, moving them around. And I kind of want to get, I, I like, I, I like streaming when it's like halfway done. I realize that, you know, I like it because people can see it. Uh, I can see it, but when I do it off camera and then it comes, it's like, it comes to life. It's like, uh, oh, how'd that happen? So. But anybody that just you know pops in, pops in, pops out, you can see how it how it goes from the beginning to the end. And that's always cool too. There's like this light peach tone. You know I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting to add. Let me move that. Oh, I'm gonna move it. Oh, don't get wet. Right there. This medium. And I, I, I think I remember art class they used to and I didn't do this because I'm insane but they have to wait for the background to dry I literally painted the background like 20 minutes ago and that's kind of something I'm struggling with right now because what's happening is the background is mixing that brown actually that's uh, it's like a raw umber is mixing into my original palette and colors and it's uh, it's muddying them a little bit, but that's fine. It's all good. So I'm gonna chill with that. I'm gonna switch to, actually, no, this is what I wanna do. I'm not gonna chill with that. Uh, I want some more of that brown, that burnt umber. It's, uh, oh, the color's so pretty. I bought this set, right? Some of the colors are here. Let me push it in here so you can see it. And then some are here, but I like this color. I don't know, what, I, this color, I wanna use a lot. Like, it's gonna be dominant in the, I just know it, like, I just have a feeling like this is what I'm gonna use. Hey, Christy Soto, thank you for joining me and checking me out. If you're joining me, throw a like and uh, share, appreciate it, it helps my channel out a lot. It gets people to check it out and uh, share with everybody else too. So they can, anybody likes art, anybody likes drawing, painting, all that good stuff. It's 
arm. My brush strokes are sporadic. Um, and I, at first I, I, I didn't like that because it looks sloppy. And, uh, you know, people, I thought, oh man, they're gonna judge me and think I can't paint. And then I'm like, I started to own it, man. Cause I was like, I've been reading a lot about Picasso. Cause I'm obsessed with him, right? I'm like in my Picasso stage. Well, I'm, I'm in a lot of stages, but you know, he was like this too. So it's uh, not necessarily a bad thing. Kind of owned it. So that's good. Now I want to add some really bright, vivid colors in here. I want to play with that right now. And I want to switch a brush to get a finer one. I like this one. I want to get like a medium round brush. So I think this might be it. I would have used it for something. Yeah, I think this will work. I want to get like a medium round brush and start Every time I mix, so I'm doing these oils I never did before, I think of uh, Bob Ross when he's like smacking the t -t 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 thing. I think it's hilarious. Did anybody see that Deadpool? Uh, there was like a Deadpool parody of Bob, Bob Ross. That's freaking awesome. I thought it was so cool. That was hilarious. So this color, I want to add this pink. That it's it's like a pink and some more whites. More of that reddish color. There it goes. I think that's it right here. I like this. One out here. Now it's a little more red. It flows. It's the highlight. There you go. There you go. There you go, mate. More of that reddish orangish color. Mix it up real nice. Slowing down a little bit just to get the sketch of her dress. Really good right there. Man, this stuff is like a strong smell. I thought like airbrush paints had a strong smell. How much would you sell something like that for? Uh, like 500 bucks is what I'm doing my originals for and then I'm selling prints for like 20 bucks. But anybody at Facebook that really wants it, I think I was giving away for like 250. If they want to like make payments or something like that, they can, but whatever. And uh, I'm doing 12 other I mean, this is a three of 12, so I'm doing other ones. I'm doing some big ones I got planned. Uh, I got a really cool one. I don't want to talk, I don't want to say anything about it yet, but I'm really excited. It's gonna be like a huge canvas. And his arm goes in more like that. Gotta fix that. So this goes, her arm's here. There's like a little, Thing there that's brown and that's fine get 
Okay, that's good. I want to add some more of that, that brownish color. Burn sienna. Will you add, girl, right here? Okay. Sometimes I give my paints. Um, yeah, man. I give them, you know, act with the people, I guess, whatever. That might be kind of weird. All right. So his arm goes in like this. And I can kind of shape it right there. Kind of like this uh, triangle ish shape. That's cool. That's bent there. I think that goes in more here. And her belt's here. And then it comes over like this more. So I'm gonna cut that off. That's cool. It's like erasing it. That's what I like about this. You can just paint over stuff. I'm like, oh my god. This is so much easier than airbrushing, actually. So once you make a line, you're screwed. Yeah, that's fine. Where's that medium stuff? Ah, I'm always looking left because I'm a lefty and it's not there. I'm like, where? Where'd it go? Yeah, probably should switch brushes again. I get so into it though, I don't want to stop. But I need a finer brush, I know it. Even though I know it, I don't stop. Yeah. Okay, that's actually drying pretty decently. I like how that's drying. Um, hey, it reminds me of Picasso, keep it up, it's beautiful. Hey, thank you, appreciate it. Appreciate the support, and if you're just checking me in, hey, there's nothing you can't do, babe, looking good so far, thank you. And, uh, yeah, like it, uh, oh, you always share my stuff, babe, I appreciate that. Thanks for checking me, I was like, where are you at? Yeah, pop in, you usually pop in really early. Playing Mario. I'm jealous, I wanted to play some Mario. Okay, okay. I think I need more of that. Actually, I think I need a finer brush. Yeah, I'm going to need a finer brush. That's all right, I want to establish his eyes now so he can see. So right now he's kind of like pissed, right? Like, bro, that's my girl, bro. We're trying to set her on fire and shit. What a dick. What a douche. Sorry, the kid's watching. But, um, yeah, man, it was the, what was it, what was he, the, and he was like the deacon? No, he was the figure in the bell tower. The cardinal. I think it was like a cardinal, wasn't he? And he, like, locked Quasimodo up, and he's like, did a bunch of crap to him. Like, what a jerk. Did I win my beautiful Beauty and the Beast art? Uh, Beauty and the Beast, I uh, was doing, the, uh, do some prints. I'm going to give away some prints. I think that's what I'm going to do with all that stuff. Mix this around, mix it around. All right, so it's kind of dry already. Cool. Adding is the foot. All right, so that's drying pretty fast. I want to go straight umber. I think I can do that. I think that'll work fine. Let me get another brush just to play with the colors. This one's a pretty fine one. This one, that one. I don't think I have numbers on this thing, these brushes and stuff. Around, it just says round. Oh, zero, they do. I'm doing a size zero brush, you guys. I 
I'm painting like acrylics, but I forget I can blend these colors really easy. So why am I worrying? Because with acrylic paints, you really can't make these mistakes. So then that's the thing with that. With these colors, you can kind of blend them with uh, oils. So even if you feel like you made a mistake, it doesn't matter. Well, I mean, it, it, you know, you can change it. You can erase. Not really erase, but, you know, blend the paint over. Okay, that's cool. I really want to make sure I get his his likeness correct. I need some of this medium stuff. It's like kind of like this thin jelly stuff. There you go, check you out later, friend. Love these live streams. Hey, right on. Check me out. If you're uh, around, pop in, see how it's finished. If I get there. If I get there or not. And I will, I think. Painting in his hair. Some of that gel medium. Throw some of this purple in it. Yeah, oh, okay. Let me mess with a different brush. Let me use this one, see how this works. This is like a thicker, heavier brush. So I think it's like a magenta. And uh, let me get a little bit of white, see what that does. Yeah, I like that. Huh. Eh. Eh, don't like it. Don't like how that looked. That's cool. And then I mean, add a tint of this magenta to here. Just playing with it. Okay, I like that color for cool skin tone. I actually thought I was going to get through this faster, but this definitely is a challenge. But I can do it. I'm loading my brush too much right there. I said in art college not to do that. And I went and I always did that. That's cool. Okay, now I'm kind of finding my groove a little bit. Kind of as I go on, I get more confidence as I understand how it works and what colors and everything and dries and all that good stuff.
that's cool. Uh, that's just, I'm kind of diluting that. All right. So I got the main kind of colors established. So let me put some of that greenish color in his blah, 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 and do some of the background because I'm working on here and I forget I got to follow the how I usually paint. I'm just I'm just playing with little things, right, as I move. Hey, what's going on, Hector, man? What's going on, cuz? Thanks for stopping in and checking out my stream. For sure. Appreciate that. And um, I want to use, what's the next color? I have like a uh, dark, a dark, 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 black. I think this might be it. Burnt Sienna, no, I had a darker one. Yellow ochre, I think that might work. What's it here? White. Placed it. Yellow. Oh, there it goes. Okay. It's over here. All over here. That's cool. That's okay. Okay, so this is a um, burnt umber. And this is like the darker, the darkest kind of pretty much of the brown tones. And uh, I want to add. Mix it like right here. I don't, like that. I don't want it that dark. I can get some practice in by doing this, and I think this will work really well. What I'm trying to do. These are all the bricks in the background. I know how to do bricks. I was layering them. Too neat. His oils got me painting too neat, man. It's not how I paint. Gotta go back. Kind of it makes me kind of like scared how it's gonna turn out, and then. When I'm scared, when I'm scared and I paint, it's weird, right? I'm scared and I paint, it doesn't turn out the way as good as if I'm more confident in what I'm doing. So I gotta kind of practice a little bit and then, but still go in all in for it, you know? Uh, so I wanna add more of this color. I'm really having fun though with this. I, 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 these colors are so bright, so vibrant. And I want to add some more of that magenta because this magenta tone is kind of all in the entire painting. So I want to make sure I add it to the browns. See, it's maybe too light. Let me add some more of that burnt umber, the darker tone to it. There you go. It's really subtle. It's really subtle. But it's in there. You know? Yeah, so then the background's really coming to life now. It's good. And I'm going to paint over some of this other stuff. And I was reading about, like, Picasso and Monet and all these famous guys. Really just... Going back to school on it all, because I really want, because I really want to learn. I want, you know, I want to see how they did it, and I want to learn new techniques for me. And they painted over a lot of stuff. They painted over a lot. They would do these huge paintings, right? And they're just like, all right, I'm done. Uh, I don't, I want to like it. I'm just gonna paint over it. So a lot of their works have like five paintings underneath or something crazy. At least that's what I heard. Putting the bricks back here. Just filling in the gaps. Kind of lost a little bit right there, but it's fine. 
and some more of this medium. Really makes it blend really well. Let me zoom in to where I'm at. I'm like right here. And actually, I, put, I moved the picture, my bad. So you guys see what I'm up to. You can see it right there. The Hunchback. Great work, keep it up grinding. Truly show the tip skills you have. Not only airbrushing, but hey man, appreciate it cuz whatever you do, whatever you put your mind to, yeah. And uh, I kind of, I like pushing it and I like telling other people that, you know, you can, you can do anything, really, if you're an artist. You know, you should be able to do it all. That's what a real artist can do. And uh, it's kind of nice to kind of try to own that thing and see what other guys do, what other artists, you know, do. I mean, a lot of artists, when I travel, when I do events, a lot of different mediums, and I'm always talking to these guys, always learn from them. Uh, there was a guy I met, he's a really good artist. Oh, what did I meet him in? Alabama. He was like in Tennessee or Alabama, and he does these really cool mashup paintings. And uh, uh, Dimitri Martin, is it Dimitri? Dim Dimitri Martin? I think his last name is Martin. But he's really cool guy. Dope paintings, dude, and dope stuff. And uh, I like doing that. I like meeting people and learning their, you know, how they do stuff and everything. And inspired me, man. Like, you know, hey, man, let me try that. And uh, we all have our own kind of thing that we're good at, but we all like, you know, all kind of like doing other stuff too. So now she has these bricks behind her, and they're actually going. The background is the um, church. So I assume it's the, the Church of Notre Dame. But I'm not too familiar with the uh, all that, so I don't want to say anything. Adding more of this burnt umber, mixing some burnt sienna to get that dark tone underneath here for the bricks. I'm just painting in the idea of where the bricks is at, where the bricks are at, and what's going on. So that's pretty important to do that as well. And so let me move to a smaller brush. And oh, I'll move this somewhere over here or something. Need more of this mixing medium. And then some more dark color. What's going on guys? Thanks for checking me out, my channel, everything. I'm actually doing a Disney series and I had a, a Lion King, I did Simba, uh, Art, you know, uh, it was a canvas painting in charcoal. That's kind of like this charcoal I used, and that was really good. Everyone really liked that, so I'm like, hey, why not do a couple other ones? So and just make it a series. So that's what I'm doing: a Disney kind of 12 series, 12 different paintings, and if I can, 12 different mediums. So this one's oil today. off and then some more paint on it this is like the cathedral so I moved from doing the subjects to the background and now I'm focused on the background I'm like okay well maybe we got to put the subjects more in there. Wah, wah, wah.
makes as far as burnt umber. That mixing medium. The base is here and kind of goes across like a line. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually uh, I'm actually kind of like sketching out the entire thing and that's why it's kind of, I guess that's why I'm moving slower. It's like I'm text, I'm, I'm sketching it out and I'm painting it at the same time. It's kind of interesting, kind of cool. Circle, 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 or the... The only thing I kind of dread is like sculpture. <laughs> That's, that might be the only thing I might have a problem with. Uh, I got a C in art college in sculpting. And I barely got a C because it broke. I did like a rose or something uh, and it broke. And I was like, you should have seen it though before. <laughs> it was nice. And then she, the lady came over to, to grade it and I was like, oh, it's broke. If it's broke, don't fix it. Hit it. It's art, um, art joke. All right. <laughs> so green, white. I kind of want to mix green, white, green, white. I'll mess with this palette right here. It's kind of dry now. So I'm realizing a lot of things right now that I have to move and paint at the same time. So that yellow, green, and then like a darker. Okay, that'll work. And then a white, a white to mute it down because I'm making like an olive color right now. Olive. It's too bright. Add a yellow to it. Yellow and a brown, I think that'll work. The new Jurassic movie being released today. Ha, huh, right, oh, is it out today? Dang, that would be cool, yeah, that's a good idea, man. Did you see it? I wanna check that out. I wanna burnt umber. Where'd that go? It's one of my favorite colors. There we go. I like that color. It's the light that's bouncing off of him. It's like, this is a green. I think I, I definitely need to add more yellow. And another color. I think it's like a purple or something. I think I'll do that. I think it's purple. I guess I can tint it. It's cool. Yeah, I took Giovanni last night. Oh, nice. Is it, is it good? Good. All right. Cool. I get. Yeah. You liked it too? He's into dinosaurs. Uh, 
Um, po -po 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 -po. Yellow. Actually, you know, let me use that. I think this is what it is. Hey guys, thanks for joining me and checking out my stream. Appreciate it. And if you're just joining me, I am doing a Hunchback of Notre Dame painting. You should try online auction, something amazing kind of piece. Let me run a week. Highs better. Yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. Uh, there's a few I need to check them. I need to check into them. And uh, but yeah, it's a really great idea. There's a, there's a few online. I haven't really got into the art scene online yet, too much. But yeah, I should. You're right. I wonder if Facebook would take it down and let it ride. Uh, for what auction? No, yeah, I can do whatever. I don't know. If it'll, it'll. I don't know what Facebook is the right market for it though. I think uh, more like people that you know, kind of looking for that art and stuff, like collectors and stuff like that. I might though, this might work though. I don't know. I think they take down like nudity and stuff like obscenities. I think I also don't really care about. Brown. Uh, let's go with this one I want. I want some of this stuff. Some of this good stuff. All right, time to focus in because I got all the colors pretty much established, everything. Now I need to get the detail and everything in there. I think we're, we're good. I need a smaller brush because I keep on working with these big brushes and no, just no. stuff was on sale and I think it was on sale for a reason now because it's all right it's not it's not really that can't work it that well yeah um, definitely need nicer brushes too stronger stronger because I'm laying down the design 
and they're done doing a fold in. Not good. That works good though. I like this one. Do 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 do. Okay. I think I'm using too much of that medium. That's why. Blend going there, that's cool. His arm needs to go in more because it's super out there. Like that. Like that. Turn up the volume. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. If you're just checking me out, I am doing a hunchback of Notre Dame painting. I'm doing a Disney series of 12 paintings based on like 12 different movies from Disney. And uh, each one of them has a, in a different medium. So I'm really learning and playing. And doing some different stuff. Yeah, it was just medium stuff. That's fine. I'm looking on camera, off camera right now actually, and I'm just seeing where I gotta change some things, where I gotta add some stuff. Gives me a good, it's like a good tool to show me. Yeah, like that. I think that's good, like that. Rid of that color, it's too dark right here. Don't like that. Bye. Bye. There you go. Oh, it feels so much better. That's cool. Um, let's 
switching the colors up. Detail, the auction, the post, final piece, start off. Yeah, that's cool. Huh. Yeah, there's a, a an app too that was like, you can bid a, a percentage of it. Like everyone can put like five bucks in and uh, whoever gets it, you know, you can buy it all outright for $500 or just put five bucks to support an artist. And uh, once you get to like $500 or whatever, whatever, whatever it's worth, you know, whatever you want to sell it for, it'll randomly select somebody and then they win it kind of thing. So I really like that idea too. That was pretty cool, I thought. I got this uh, stuff, it's called Megilp. I have no idea what the hell this is. But it's, it's like a medium drying that makes it like paint smoother or something like that. So maybe I can mix some of this in. I'm not really playing with it. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of it yet though. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. If you're just checking me out, I'm doing a painting, oil painting based off of the Hunchback of Notre Dame. So I'm messing with some oil paints, playing around with it, and just, you know, checking it out, having a good time, streaming, chilling, showing you guys kind of the process of how I paint, and uh, just kicking off this Disney series I was so super stoked to work on. For reals. Okay, pink, I like that. Let's go lighter tone there. Just wanna see where the colors are and which ones I wanna use next. So let me move this here. Oh crap. Oops, and uh, see what we wanna do. I'm mixing this magenta, so I really like that. And then some white to kinda of mute it a little bit. Just want to keep it vibrant though, so. I think that's it right there actually. That's good. And I already got paint on me, man. Look at that. blending pretty well. Some parts are drying super fast and some are not. And that's fine. Dark. 
Joker time. No, I think I want to. I want to send this more white. Blend it nicer. I wasn't really focused on blending it really well before because I just wanted to establish where I wanted everything. I watch a lot of Bob Ross too, and before he does his, uh, his videos, he really mixes his color palette and everything too. Get it all ready. I'm kind of doing it on the fly. Okay. 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 Was that mixing stuff? Lay down the color. That's cool. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. If you're just checking me out, I am doing an oil painting. Hey Cindy. Hey, you probably know more about oils than I do. So I'm just messing with it the first time, playing around with it, and uh, doing a 12 painting Disney series based off of Disney movies and certain scenes. Kind of all the ones I want to paint. So uh, right now I'm doing the um, Juju Sanctuary scene where he rescues Esmeralda from being like burned at the stake because they don't like her. Kind of rude. Yeah, and uh, you know, he goes and saves her. Okay, that's cool. I'll try to blend these in better. If I can. Don't really want that white in there, but kick that out real fast. Got some yellow on me. So Messi's oil paints the first time. I never used oil before. I literally just watched a small YouTube tutorial on like how to use oil paints for beginners. So I have a little idea. But I think that's cool. I think I like the fact that I don't use this. So it don't have to be um, To, uh, you know, just try my own thing on it, man. All right, I need a brush that's a little finer. That works. No, this might work. Actually, I think I have one hiding here that I like. I want a round brush. Yeah, I think this is it. Oh, it drops it. All right. 
to wipe this thing down? Is that what you do? All right. So we want more white. I want to add... Where is it at? To here. It's to this magenta. Now, where's that mixing medium? I think I want to do this a little different this time. So I've been mixing it on the on the canvas, and I think I want to mix it off of it now and see how it works. I have a feeling it's going to work a lot better. Yeah, I like that color. Has no face, but she will get one soon. I promise you. Mixing more of the magenta in it because I don't want it that white. I don't want to kill it. Okay, got everything established. I'm just gonna do my thing now because I gotta do my thing. Whenever I look at the reference too much, it always, you know, it always messes me up. And it does, it does. So I want to just do what I do and what I know so I want to add, I want to do, 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 it get a little darker. So, ochre, I think. Ochre, I'm probably saying it wrong. Okra, 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 add that to it. Just to tone it down. Okay, cool. I like it. I like this color. Hey guys, thanks for watching me. I appreciate it. And if you're just joining me, I'm doing Sanctuary. It's the scene where um, Quasimodo rescues Esmeralda from being burned at the stake. Because people are insane and they just want to burn people. What the hell? So he breaks out of his chains, jumps on uh, the front of the Notre Dame Tower, and uh, pretty much goes crazy. Uh, Saving his girl, doing the right thing, being just a badass, you know. And uh, I definitely respect that, man. He is the unlikely hero.
mixing some magenta. Uh -huh. Two. Right. Turn it down a little bit. It's a really good lesson in mixing colors too. I like that, yeah, a lot better. Hot orange. You need like an orange? Yeah, that's what I need. There's red. I need a little bit of red in here. I think that's going to bring it to where I need to go. Yes. Yes. Uh, and then some brownish. All right, it's cool. Thank you guys for checking me out. I'm gonna work off camera for a minute. I'm gonna grab a beer, chill out for a minute, and then come back and hit it hard, because I like how it's pretty much all here, and uh, maybe like another hour, I'll really have it defined, and maybe I'll come back online if anybody's hanging out, and uh, I'll catch you guys again. I'll post it tomorrow when it's all done. Thank you guys, and check me out again. Later.